hello guys welcome back it let me just fix myself it has been a long time i've basically taken a month off of filming videos i don't know why i just have been super busy with work and honestly i've just been living to work and it's been really hard for me to get back into filming so that's where i have been um i wanted to film this video to update you guys and sort of like revamp my channel and try to get my channel back on track because i'm just so lost on what to do with my channel um so i have a lot of things that i want to do but first this video is just going to be a chat in my car we're about to go take my dogs to go see um grandma so i gotta clean up my car and get that ready um but before i do that i just need some peace and quiet and my car is the best place for that right now there we go a new battery it is literally 90 85 degrees out today and i'm sweating i hope you can't see it i am starting back on my debt free journey because i do have a couple credit cards that i'm still trying to pay off and it's going to take a long time and i also have a car loan that i really want to start paying off but before i can do that i need to pay off these credit cards so that is what we're doing i am going to share with you guys the amount of each credit card that i have and my goals to pay them off and the first one that i'm going to start with um because i honestly need to stay motivated and when i was filming these financial videos they helped me stay on track so much so that's what i want to do and then when i get paid every two weeks i will have an update so this will give me a schedule to keep filming so i'm really excited i hope you guys are too um just so you know i do work on low income so all the credit card debt is my fault so i gotta pay it off myself and that's what i'm gonna do so um bear with me Please give me some advice and motivation because I need it. I need it so bad. Sorry, I'm just like hyped up on coffee today. I got a large. So let's go. Um, I have been working so much so I will have a lot of extra money. But I'm just lost on how I want to pay off things. If I want to pay off things or like add it to my savings. I don't know. So let me know in the comments. Um, this paycheck that I will be getting paid on the 26th. I will have about $500 extra because I've been working so much. Um, so I'm not sure if I need, just need to put that into a savings account and not touch it or just throw it at a credit card because it would help me so much. It would literally get me like a month ahead on paying a card off. So let me know what you guys think is the best answer. Um, so the first card that I'm paying off is my chase freedom i absolutely love this credit card this is the one i want to use once i pay every credit card off and then um just have one credit card for life i want to use this because the benefits are so good for me i'm always getting rewards when i use it and i think that's why i keep using it without paying it off because every time i use it i get it like money back um so my main goal right now I'm at 1,945. My main goal for July is to pay off $648.33 this month. And if I do that, then I will have this card paid off in three months. Um, so I'm gonna have to like break that up between two paychecks for July and I'm fine with that. So um, I really think I can do that. I'm not sure if I want to, I hope the AC is not too bad. My debt-free journey starts today or my next paycheck which is next week so i want to pay off 648 dollars and 33 cents for july i may have to split it up between two paychecks which i'm fine with obviously um but it will give me a lot of reassurance on my journey again and that's what i want if i pay 648 dollars and 33 cents every month i could have this paid off in three months possibly two months we'll see but just having that leverage of extra money going towards that card would be a blessing and it'll help make me feel so much better so if i go down from 1945 i will be at 1296 dollars and 67 cents which is a huge step i haven't made a big jump in my credit cards since like i don't know months ago 
and that's what I really want to do so that is my main goal for July and we're just gonna do baby steps so now on to my financial slash random goals for July my next July goal is to save $50 into my savings I know that is not a lot but like with the amount of money I make that would save me so much money and I would be feel a lot better knowing that I have a tiny cushion of money just sitting there just in case I need to do something or I need to pay extra because my trash bill has been a lot lately also our internet bill has gone up and then my phone bill I need to figure that out because it's just like going up and down I don't know next the next goal is to make my coffee five days a week I have been going to get coffee every week once sometimes twice a week and it is not good it's not good for me I mean it is great it is a great reward but I want to save those for like designated days like on Sundays I work on Sundays so if I can make my coffee at home for five days that week I will gladly reward myself with a coffee from Big B or Starbucks and I think that would be so much better it would save me literally like 20 bucks a week and I need that I really do so that is my goal I also have so many Yetis so many cute water bottles and tumblers i just need to keep using them because they're so beautiful and they're expensive so that is something that i'm going to work on starting today the next goal is to read 100 pages in a book i want to finish two books a month and i have been on a roll i have not uploaded my um reading tbr yet but you'll see i have read literally three books and i'm so proud of myself so i want to keep that going and to do that, I just really need to read like 100 pages in each of my books like every couple days. But having it as read 100 pages in a book for a monthly goal is a huge goal because most of the time I don't have time to read and I love reading so much. So I need to get that going and I just, I might have to cancel my Kindle Unlimited I think and start reading my physical books. So that's what I might do. Lastly, um, my biggest money saving goal is to start back up my at home vlogs i have been feeling been feeling so insecure about my life and comparing it to everyone online that has such a great life and doing things and honestly it's just not realistic for me where i live i cannot go out and spend that money because i don't have that money and i'm tired of being in debt i just really and tired of li trying to live up with the Joneses and thinking that will make me happy because honestly the life that I have now is so great and I need to start appreciating it more and living the life that I have so um, I need to just continue enjoying my life and film my at-home vlogs because that is what makes me happy so that's what I need to do my biggest goal is to um, post two of them well, actually, one of them a week because I really love filming videos for YouTube. So I'm just ha trying to have a goal to get back started on doing that. And my last goal is to enjoy my life because I have a great life right now. I've always, I'm just so appreciative of the life I've have I, that I have. I'm working so much to build a better life, and I just need to appreciate more it more and enjoy the people around me and my pets and all that. So those are my goals for july and my financial goals i hope you guys are willing to stick around to see how i'm doing and just help motivate me get back to get back on track so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye